Okay, I'm just gonna be right in. We have a whole bunch of brand new stuff in here. It's crazy. So we have all the Tanabata, pretty much. Not everything, but we have all our basic info for 2024. I'm just gonna jump right in because we have a whole bunch of stuff to go over. A whole bunch of stuff to talk about. It's crazy right now. It's crazy. It's crazy. And I love it. So, of course, we got Tanabata, of course, pretty much confirmed. Prunga campaign is gonna come back, though. So, of course, every week we'll get, uh, every three weeks during July, we'll get pretty much a new, um, like every week so for example like this will be like week one this will be like week two this will be week three so every week you get a whole new set of dragon balls it's pretty much it's simple stuff in the game like oh yeah get like five physical orbs get like you know use a, a support item it gets pretty much the same ones every single year but they just, they just kind of swap it or randomize it or mix, mix and match it a lot you know use a support memory use a support item clear stage you out doing, without doing a super attack Easy, easy stuff though, of course. So yeah, every week, every three weeks we'll get new witches. Again, we had it last year, we had it the year before. It, awesome, just awesome. Of course, awesome. Of course, we got to bring the logo bonus though. I believe Goresh did translate. He said, uh, I think during the whole entire campaign, via logo bonus, you know, emissions, I believe. I think just logo bonus. We're going to get up to 77 stones as well. We got the rich twist strip coming back. We log in, you get up, you can get up to, um, you get the twist strip. You can get up to 77 units completely for free in the game. Um, you can choose 7 out of 77, you'll get the wish trips from like logging in, doing missions, the wish trip, I think week 1 week one, and week 3 will give you um, the wishes of course, so like I said, in the day down, we're going to get all the new info of course, later on, you know, in the day or night, or wherever we get it, but it should be the next few hours, because you know, after this stuff, after info, we get like that download, that we get like celebration info, which all should be tomorrow though, so uh, when I'm recording this today, it's um, Wednesday, tomorrow's going to be Thursday, so we should be getting all the info on there, so yeah, wish trip, you can give up to 77 units, uh, of course, Rainbow Ticket's going to be back. Uh, it's probably much going to make a duplicate banner like it has the last few years of the main ba Tanabata banner. And then, of course, you know, part two, we're going to get like, you know, the eight, the nine year units. Goji and Abroad will, you know, come back with coins. Since the, I forgot, I think a carnival, I think, because the part two carnival could be the, the unit I'm thinking of. Um, but yeah, again, part two is usually probably going to be a carnival. It does make sense. Again, um, yeah, like I said, you get the um, you remember tickets for, like logging in, doing missions during the, um, the campaign. While well, Tanabata is up, though, it's really, really good. I love that already. Uh, but like I said, yeah, we've got the seven, seven Dragonstones. Uh, it looks like it's like, doing all the special missions and everything. Um, <clears throat> Uh, the wish trip, of course, like I said, you log in, you do missions. You get, that's just easy to get. Remember, take it the same thing. You can just do missions during Tanabata. Uh, which is really really good and I'll be like oh for global we should skip nine you do not skip nine year. I'm gonna get in that later do not skip nine year for Tanabata do not do it do not do it but yeah of course you can see the theme is going on USS of course and we got some boys over here we're getting like a, a brand new event for um blue zone or you know the spring battle spectacle it looks like that's gonna get its own um it looked like, yeah, it's going to be a brand new event entirely, though. Like, you know, it's not going to be connected to the... Because they wouldn't say new stages added. But this is a brand new event, though, for Universe 7. It looks like it's just Universe 7 themed. It's been about a spectacle. Look like we got Roshi and Tian. going to be um, a tag unit or for, um, you know, one of the stages. Ultimate Gohan and Piccolo. 17 to 18. We get, like, you know, Kaken Blue Goku Evolution Blue Vegeta could probably be one stage on part two. But it looks like it's going to be a, brand, a completely brand new event, though. So, this is completely, completely, completely brand new. And I do like that. It's brand new. It's not you know, new stage to add it. It's a brand new event. So we're getting all pretty much new enemies for a brand new event. Of course, we got some brand new stuff right here. Of course, hit right here. The physical freedom by hands could get awakening. Slash, uh, probably an easy at this point. It would be easy in part two. That's easily going to be a thing. Your universe six and mechanics are going to also get an awakening. Probably an easy at. And of course, Chop as well is getting awakening. Probably easy at. Again, it's obvious right there. Of course, I bring the Doka Fetsu with Beerus hinting at something. This is new. And a Tana Body for 2024 is UI Goku. <laughs> so, yes, I love every single card of this. It's beautiful, awesome, amazing. So, of course, UI Goku is fully confirmed for Tana Bada. I might make this a thumbnail. I might not. This card oh, it looks so beautiful. Oh, I love it so much. I love it so much. It's all beautiful. I love it. So, yeah, SSR. T-O-R, L-R. Again, that's him really but like, you know, charge at Jiren with the eyes. That's him fighting in the explosion domain. And UI Goku, him just being UI Goku. Of course, of course, got some Goresh, um, great, uh, good, great, good translation from Goresh, of course. And yes, this UI Goku does have a domain and he's a tech unit and he goes to M-U-I. I'll be saying he could be better than Beast. I highly doubt, though. I want to see him in action first, honestly, though, because reading him and going over him isn't enough, in my opinion. But yeah, we got translation for him, and of course, a new dispo, of course, gonna jump right in, though, of course. And a brand new LR EZA of 17 in um, Team Universe 7, which 
that's really good actually though. Of course we got the info right there. Of course, thank you to Koresh for all the translations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to Dragon World for all the all the images. If I see anything, y'all will make it to a short. And thank you to me not for all the new info. Let's jump right into UI Goku, of course. Again, easily just obviously let's jump right in. So he did I seen uh, I already seen like I did watch True Stream. I did watch Tune Stream. I did again I seen I saw True Stream from Twitch. This morning, again, I just woke up and I saw this. I, I was just literally waking up, getting ready for work. I had to be working eight this morning. I literally woke up and literally just saw this. Like I woke up and then this pretty much just kind of happened. Like I was watching everything live with everybody. I, I wasn't tuned stream when this went live. So literally, I I was like, okay, I'm just waking up. I'm half tired. I woke up like at five this morning, stayed up until like seven to get to work. I'm like, what the world is this? So I've seen like I seen like what he can do and everything. He does a lot. He's a really really great. Again again. Really celebration units like this, Kanabata anniversary, always been really on the spot. This is really good for Goku. I really like it though. Let's jump right into it. I see what he can do. I know what he does. He's really, really good. He's busted as heck. He so much support, so much tankiness, so much good stuff we need in a superhero team. And this is pretty much superhero in universe of Osaka, probably like one of the top teams in the game. In the universe of Osaka, easily probably top three. Superhero probably in top five at this point, honestly. Probably four or five. I don't know, it's crazy. So, of course, he does Universe of Bible Saga, of course. Room of Gods, Orange Drift of Will, Key 3, all set to 170. Plus additional, all set up, yeah, all set to 30% to Reps Universe 7. It's Red Battle, a powerful comeback. Of course, it's a little intro animation. It's 12 key. Uh, raise attack up for one turn. Greater raise defense up for one turn. Cost of damage. All allies get attack up by 30% for one turn. And he pretty much does the same thing for his 18 key, but all allies get defense up. It doesn't make a cost of damage. Not too bad. Passive, though. Um, yeah, the true last chance. I love that. I love that. Of course, activates injury animation only once when there's a, another universal survival like a category ally of the team gains key for attack defense of 77% for seven turns and additional attack defense of 77% for four turns when key seven is key seven <clears throat> attack defense of 200% at the start of a turn. Change the event enemies attacks a great chance of a crit reduce damage received by 50%. It reduces the damage received by another 13, addition, another 13, 35%, well, an additional 35% when receiving an attack. After receiving an attack, activated guard gets all attacks during the turn, performs an additional super attack after evading an attack during that turn. I say attack a turn so many times. It's a turn, turn tongue twister, tongue twister turn. Performs an additional attack that has a great chance to form an additional attack as a second attack or third attack on a turn. Not too bad. Of course, he has his um, active skill. Of course, it's his awakening, or you know, his you know, yeah, active skill. Of course, uh, conditions able to use starting from the fifth turn from his first appearance um, awakens the activation domain, the shining wall of void. I, I just call it like universal fart or galaxy fart. That's what I call it. Doom calls it. I call it that. All allies get attack gain the key four for three turns. It's yeah, super allies get key four for three turns. Key four for three turns. The domain shining world of void. Super class allies attack. Uh, uh, super class allies and enemies attack defense up. No, super class allies and enemies attack defense up fifty percent. Disables and de disables enemy invasion cancels. So pretty much he, he cancels dodge, which is crazy. Canceling evasion effects. Attack of fifteen percent for allies who are belonging to realm of gods. So his links are, of course, disgusting UI Goku links. Prepare for battle, over in a flash, um, I say shock speed, godly power, he might get it when he gets UI, because I think UI is, I think that over in a flash probably will be, um, shocking speed. Um, Kamehameha, Terminator power, um, fierce battle, legendary power, categories, holy crap! Oh my lord! Universal Survival Saga, Realm of Gods, and Trust at Will, Represent Universe Dynamics, Red Battle, Powerful Combat, Pierce Saiyans, Goku Family, Charter Score, Reckless Awakening, Legendary Existence, Bond Parent and Child, Bond, uh, Bond of Friendship, Superhero, which is probably getting above this, Earth Better Fighters, Terminal Participants, Transformation Boost, Kamehameha, Battle of Fate. Holy crap. Of course, he goes to Ultra Instinct Goku. Um, his 12 key changes to Attack Defense up for one turn, Colossal Damage, disables Enemies Guard, which doesn't really, I think, do anything. His 18 key. Uh, did the same thing, just make a cost of damage, all eyes get attacked if it's up 59% for one turn. His, um, passive now changes, so when he gets his, like, you know, when he pretty much attacked, no, not the, well, I'm not, I'm not really saying the domain, but when he goes to MUI, his passive just changed. I was, I'm thinking because MUI and domain activate at the same time, I'm thinking that's the same thing, but it's completely different. So this, uh, this is passive when he actually goes UI, 
Or, you know, I do, you know, when you get the domain, whatever. I, I, I'm, I'm getting it. Good. Well, yeah. This is, I think, I think this is what Gwen goes, you want. I think he surprises Beast because he does so much right here. Like I said, I do want to see him in action first, but I think, I think he does surpass Beast, I think, in this. But I think Beast is probably a little bit better. Oh, give me one second. Okay, I'm back. I had a call really quick. Uh, I just paused the video pretty much. So, um, like I said, I just, is a lot. So it does take defense up 33%, 300% at the start of a turn, gains key 7, attack plus 59%, and if it's all enemies attacks and all allies get a chance to uh, dodge attacks of 10% for one turn gains a, key, gains key three a chance to perform a crit a chance to evade enemies attacks of 20% per attack performed up to max the key the key goes up to back to 12 and it's a chance to perform a crit and evades enemies attacks up to 7% counter with tremendous power after invading pretty much after he dodges he counters pretty much probably is going to end up being everything in the game but not everything but you get the point there's no event like this though, so that blue zone might be, or you know, Spring Battle Spectacle might be something different, or might be getting a new event in Tanabot for part two. Just saying, we might be getting a new event because nothing in the game does this craziness, so yeah. Maybe like a Red Zone Jiren or something like that. Red Zone, you know, Universal Event or something like that. It might be, I don't know. I'm, I'm calling it right now. Um, some attack of 20%. Um, yeah, yeah, enemy attacked. Reduce the, yeah, reduce the damage received by 20%. Reduce the damage received by an additional 4% until receiving an attack. After receiving an attack, guard against, um, all, against all attacks during the turn gains additional attack up 91%. And chances of doing a crit. And if any enemies attacked up 20%, if, if you're 50% or below at the start of a turn, form an additional attack when key is 24 or more. Which again, it's, he does so much. It's cr he does almost every single thing in the hidden potential system. I all use it nowadays, but I like I have no idea what can counter this or like what event can even do this. Like you might be getting something new in part two, like Red Zone Full Power Journal or something like that. Red Zone Eleven, you know, uh, Universe Eleven. Like I I can't even get the words out on it. It's crazy. But yeah, that that's that's like what the world is this? Like I've seen no other unit do this ever in the game, and he he. He's, he's gonna break the game with this. He's broken. Like, he's disgustingly broken. Like I said, Beast, he might be getting beat. Sell so Max as well, but it's also like, I do want to see him in action first. I'm not, I'm not saying, like, you know, oh, he's better than Beast. But I do want to see, I want to see him in action. I want to see what he can do in some difficult events. I want to see what he can actually, like, go when he goes at full power. Because MUI right here, this transformation domain, whatever. Could surpass Beast. This alone could pass, surpass Beast. I, I want to see him in first. I want to see him in action first. I want to see him in action. Of course, going to dispel. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. I just lose go survey battle key three. I set up um one thirty. So we have effect raise defensive for one turn. Supreme damage attack up. Raise attack for eleven turns. Holy crap! Uh, passive attack defense up one fifty. A server turn gains additional attack defense of one fifty. One from a super attack. After after performing a super attack, gains additional defense of 150. Not bad. Until receiving an attack um, during the turn, performs additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack. Performs additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack. Did I read that right? Uh, after if it, okay, there's another universal level category, so it gets another additional attack. Okay, it makes sense. The universal level category ally in the same turn if or if or allies attacking in the same turn or tournament participants. I guess as a substitute if you don't have your versus 11 characters, makes sense. I just evade enemies attacks and um, enemies attacks gains additional, um, give it, gains additional chance of form a crit up to 11, um, 11%. Every time this character performs a super attack, gains additional attack up 11%. To perform evades enemy attacks and, okay, during the turn. Okay, so pretty much he dodges, he crits and he supports. Pretty much I mean you I go, honestly, which these side units usually are, uh, you know, the Joker Fest, you know, Counterpart, you know, a mini version of it though. Might not bad though. Your love and support can get some more stuff. Like I said, overall, what he does, not too bad. I can, you know, Saiyan's always really good. And he can, you know, be better than what we have before, honestly. Because we had no good dispose in the game. He might be the only best one. Like so, signature pose, hero of justice, um, speed retribution, shocking speed, and fighter, um, terminal power. First battle categories are accelerated battle, universe of all saga, special post, the universe eleven, special traveling warriors, defender of ditches, tournament participants. Like I said, this was not do bad though, honestly. He can do he he can how about in your again, you see if it can be universe eleven, no joke, but I fought for probably during part two. Probably transforming like, probably again, he's probably gonna be Goku's counterpart. Like I'll probably we could probably see, like I said, like a Jiren doing this, like a domain. Like you know, his energy and everything, you know, matching who I Goku. 
And part two could buy easily be, you know, Jiren, like I said, that's probably obviously. Of course, on the Uverse 7, I want to see what they can do. So they do, again, this is pretty short too. So I'm going to go right anyway, because I'm already here. Uh, of course, <laughs> you didn't see the little skill. <laughs> you didn't show the little skill. It's fine, whatever. Uh, of course, 12 key, massively raises attack up for one turn, causes damage. Uh, raises allies attack defense up by 30% for one turn. 18 key, massively ma mega cost of damage. Raises allies attack up defense up by 30%. And to perform a crit up 7% for two turns. Passive does attack defense up 170, 177. Key one, up to max to five. It changes the form of crit and reduces damage received by 7%. Also, up to 35% per, per, per represent universe category ally. Representatives of universe category, represent, representatives of universe seven category ally on the team. Again, universe seven, 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 seven. Yeah. Plus additional attack defense up 77%. And to perform a crit and reduces damage received by one. 17% when there's a five or more representative for seven category allies on the team. Randomly changes a certain type of key sphere besides int to rainbow. Key spheres may HP 77% or below. As a return only once, plus additional attack defense of 77% when key 17 or more, plus additional attack defense of 77% performs additional super attack with keys 22 or more, plus additional attack defense attack, additional key of three. Per rain, per rain keys for attain, tends to form a crit of 7%. All allies other than this character get key one attack defense of 7%. Per rain keys for attain, other than it's uh, attained. So, what's sevens? So, again, like I said, they, it's, like this, it's like the Dispo thing. They're mainly going to be used for Universe 7, but they are really good. They're really, just, again, Universe 7 support is all they were before. They updated that. They gave them a lot, just a little bit extra. Again, I like that. Again, that's all I pretty much did. I know he's Universe 7 support. They gave him a lot more support. More rainbow keys first, more keys for everybody else, more support for Universe 7. It's all I needed. Again, all I needed is all, it's great. They're great. They're awesome. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I want to kind of cover go over the video today. Like I said, this bow, really good. Again, made for Universe 11, made for Universe 7 with this guy. Really, really good. Love that. You are Goku, like I said. Can you surpass Beast? I feel like when he goes MUI, yes. Because I, I feel like he's doing something in the game no one else has ever done. He does so much new stuff. It's crazy and I love it. The way he's built and everything is so new. But like I said, surpassing Beast, I feel like yes and maybe no. Because Beast is just so much already, but you are Goku doing other stuff. Like, uh, it's, it, again, I have no words. It's crazy. Like, I have no idea what's yes, what's no. I Again, I had to see him in action first. I need to see him in action. But yeah, thank you to, thank you to everybody for all the translation and everything. Thank you for just for everything. It's just, we got so much stuff at Tanabata coming up. We got so much new events, so much new stuff. It gets always crazy around this time. It's insane. But yeah, thank you to everybody for all the translation. Thank you to everybody for everything. See you guys later, though. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Great love. Welcome to you again. Let me enjoy it. Stay safe. Watch your all of you going up and over best. So, top of every room, too fast. If you can't go outside, test your cards. Easy and go beam. Turn off the ticker. So, if you Because awesome. We can think about awesome. But of course, you can hit it again. For global right now, we have no idea when this is going to come out. Again, we have no idea at all. So, don't ask me. Like, don't ask anybody else. Because we have no idea. Could be the December time off for Christmas. We don't know. Again. They do want to skip it before the 10 year makes sense. But if you're trying to skip 9 for this 10 Abada, do not. Goku looks great. He's going to be back on better banners in the future. We know this already. Do not summon. Do, do not. I mean, I mean, for global players, do not be like, oh, I'm going to skip 9 year for this. Do not. Please do not do that. Do not skip this for 9. Do not. Do not skip 9 year for this. Do not skip nine year for this i'm begging you do not do that if you do that you're dumb like you're the definition of dumb you have nine thousand zones save it up don't be like oh it comes up for gold no no do not do not skip nine year for this it happens every it happened last year too with goku i said this last year i said this year before do not skip the anniversary for this do not you are dumb waiting you're, you are just dumb someone for gogeta someone for broly someone for beast gamers if you want to do not skip Nine year for this.